Well, my name is Paul David Kurtz. So the characters I'm playing in the show, I think it's around five characters. Dick Clark of American Bandstand fame, Bill Medley, one of the lead singers with the Righteous Brothers, uh, Bobby Darren, who sang Splish Splash, and Gene Vincent, uh, who sang uh, Be Bop a Lula, uh, later covered over and over by the famous Elvis Presley, and then a composite character named Nick, which is kind of this character revolving around James Taylor. Well, the process has been fun. It's just been fun learning these songs, just getting to know new people in the show. There, there are a lot of people in the show that I've never done any community theater with at all. I, I just met for the first time. It's been fun getting to know new people, and Jeff has made it so uh, easy learning the music, learning parts. It's just been fun really working with such talented people in this show. I, I love Splish Splash, uh, the 1650 medley, because there's so many just great songs going on all at once during that song, and uh, it's just so much fun, the choreography. But I'd have to say that my favorite song is You've Lost That Loving Feeling. Um, it's, it's so much fun doing the song with Logan, and it's just such an iconic song that it's, it's really an honor to get up there and sing it in front of hundreds of people. So uh, back in 1992, when my wife Emily and I got married, we were on our honeymoon uh, down in Sun Destin, Florida, at the Hilton Resort there. And we just checked into our room, and uh, we got on the elevator with uh, these three ladies, and they were really, really nice to us and sweet. And they were like, well, what brings you guys to Florida? And we said, well, we just got married. And they were like, oh, wow, that's awesome. That's great. And I, I said, uh, what brings you guys uh, here to the Hilton Resort in Destin, Florida? And they said that um, they were a band doing a concert, a private concert at the, at the hotel, at the resort that night. And I was like, oh, really? That's kind of cool. I said, what's the name of your band? And they said, the Shirelles. <laughs> and my, my jaw dropped. And I was like, no, you are not the Shirelles. And they said, yeah, we're still together. We're still performing, you know, private concerts and that kind of thing. And they, they invited us to come to the concert that night. They dedicated one of their songs to us. And, uh, and afterwards, invited us down to the uh, bar to have drinks with them and hang out. We got our picture with them and a, a napkin that all of them signed uh, you know, to us, wishing us well in life and in marriage. And it was really a cool experience. They were three of the most um, kind and sweet and just elegant people I've ever met in my life. Um, but yeah, that was a really special uh, experience and one of the, uh, um, just one of the awesome things that happened on our honeymoon. So I had the privilege uh, of meeting one of the original uh, drifters back in 1995. I was at a sales convention in Birmingham, Alabama, and the, Bill Pinckney and the original drifters did a concert at the, um, at the trade show that I was at. And I got to meet Bill Pinckney and, and get his autograph, and uh, just a, a really cool guy, sweet, sweet man. And so, you know, it's, it's really awesome that I get to be in a show with you know music that I love and with um, you know that connection to some of these groups that are featured in this awesome show. So whatever plans you have for September 1st, 2023, cancel them right now if they don't involve coming to the green room to watch Beautiful, the Carol King musical. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a night not to miss and an experience you won't ever forget. I wanted to audition for the show because I'd heard so much about the show. I'd never seen the show actually um, in any community theater uh, or off-Broadway show, but I love Carole King. I love her music. And I just, I grew up with uh, music from the 60s and 70s because that's what my mom and dad listened to all the time in the car. And uh, when I saw the music and the score for this show, I was like, I have to be a part of this show, so.